Betty Bella Rose Evans shares something with an estimated 31 million other Americans, chronic back pain. Her search for an answer has brought her to North Florida Regional's Surgical Pavilion. On this day, pain specialist Dr. Robert Guskowitz is preparing to place a spinal cord stimulator to relieve that debilitating pain. So what we're gonna be doing today is placing a, an implant um, utilizing two incisions. The first incision will be around the spine where we'll put these electrodes in and uh, then the second incision will be in her uh, right buttock area which will be where we'll place the generator which is the working apparatus and controls the flow of the impulse to the spine itself. Betty hopes the spinal cord stimulator will make it possible for her to return to many of her normal activities. More than anything, she and her husband miss dancing together. I just can't hardly wait to get back to my usual thing. Because I got where we couldn't hardly dance. I got where we go out and dance halfway around the thing and they'd have to quit. <laughs> and, uh, we just have a great time, and as long as we can dance and, and enjoy each other's company, we're going to continue as long as we can. The minimally invasive procedure to place the spinal cord stimulator will take approximately two hours. A small pulse generator implanted in the back will send electrical pulses to the spinal cord. These pulses interfere with the nerve impulses that make patients feel pain and change the pain into a tingling feeling. The stimulator itself is implanted under the skin, as are small coated wires or leads that will connect with the spinal canal. Images produced by X-ray fluoroscopy guide Dr. Guskowitz as he works. Both leads coming out, and being secured to the fascia. Dr. Guskowitz and surgical staff analyze the device to make sure it's working properly before the small surgical incisions are closed. In the weeks ahead, Betty will return to see her doctor for adjustments of her spinal cord stimulator and to learn how she will make those adjustments herself in the future. If all goes well, a return to the dancing floor will be possible. Can I go Not quite yeah. yet. We'll see you next week, okay? <laughs> so, and again, I like we said, you. maybe a little bit of a waltz, but no dipping or swings uh, or anything like that. that. I had we done that do in a while, no way. Well, we'll get you back as far as doing that then. Business card, we'll point the card and hold this on. Okay, that's good. Okay. either that or I lay on my back and carry it. Carry it. <laughs> <laughs>